weight w and 2w are supported in a vertical plane by a string and pulleys arrangement as shown in figure find the magnitude of additional weight q applied on the left which will give a downward acceleration a is equal to 0.1 g to the weight w neglect friction and inertia of pulleys this is the given figure so initially there are w and 2w blocks only so when an additional weight is uh, attached on the left so that is having a downward acceleration of a so here it will be having a downward acceleration of a so when it is attached to additional weight and that is given as 0.1 g or otherwise you can consider it as uh, g by 10 so 0.1 can be written as 1 by 10 right so i have written like that so this is the value of acceleration given so when this uh, block will move in the downward direction this block will move in the upward direction so this block will move in the upward direction with an acceleration of a by 2 so the relation we have seen the acceleration between these two blocks for reference you can uh, refer the link in the description so first in these two blocks this block will be having motion right this a combination of blocks will be having motion so for that reason first i will draw the free body diagram of uh, these two blocks combined together so i will consider these two as a single unit i mean and i will draw the free body diagram there so considering the block as a combination of those two blocks this block is combination of those two blocks right so weight acts vertically downwards w is the weight of this block and q is weight of uh, that block so when we combine these two the total weight will be w plus q right and along the string let us consider s is the tensile force as it is tensile force you need to represent the tensile force away from the object and it is given that in the question itself it is having an acceleration of a in the downward direction in the opposite direction it will be having inertia force which is nothing but m a or w by g into a here weight is nothing but w plus q so w plus q divided by g into a is the inertia force here so applying sigma fy is equal to 0 s acting in positive y direction plus w plus q by g into a so that is also in a uh, positive y direction and weight acting in negative y direction so minus w plus q equal to 0 from that s is equal to w plus q so this one is negative on left hand side when i transfer that one onto right hand side it will be positive so minus w plus q by g into a so this is the relation i got for tensile force when i consider the free body diagram for these two blocks as a single unit and consider this one as equation 1 similarly let us consider the free body diagram for 2w block here before that free body diagram of this pulley so which is nothing but mobile pulley so when i consider free body diagram of that mobile pulley so along uh, string there will be tensile force this is s and this is also s and along this rope which is different rope so there will be tensile force t so this pulley will be under uh, dynamic equilibrium when these two are equal so t is equal to 2s so when t equal to 2s only so this will be under equilibrium so now let's consider the free body diagram for 2w block so this is 2w block first thing weight acts vertically downwards and along the rope there will be tensile force here i have considered this one as t right so t which will be equal to 2s so that is the uh, value of uh, tensile force in the string and it is having an acceleration of upward acceleration of a by 2 so you know that uh, for uh, fixed pulley uh, attachment if it is having an acceleration of a uh, for mobile pulley attachment it will be having acceleration of a by 2 in the opposite direction right so a by 2 in the opposite direction then in the opposite direction you have to represent inertia force inertia force is nothing but w by g into a here instead of w there is 2w right so so weight into acceleration is sorry 2w by g into acceleration is a by 2 so this is the free body diagram for this block 
So now applying sigma f y is equal to zero. Uh, when I apply sigma f y equal to zero, two is acting vertically upwards minus two w vertically downwards minus two w by g into a by two is equal to zero. From that two s is equal to two w plus two w by g into a by two. From that s is equal to w plus w by g into a by two. So consider this one as equation two. So cancelling uh, two on both the sides. So I got this relation. So I got two relation for s. Okay. So from one and two. I can write that W plus Q, this relation minus W plus Q divided by G into A is equal to W plus W by G into A by two. So W W gets cancelled, or if you take it on to right hand side, W minus W. Okay, both gets cancelled. From that, Q minus W plus Q divided by G into A is equal to so A W divided by two Z. So this one I have written like this A W by two Z. So given that acceleration is equal to zero point one G. 0.1 g. You can consider like this, or a point one. You can write it as one by ten. So then it is g by ten, right? So this is the value of acceleration given in the question itself. I didn't derive anything. So this is the value given in the question. Just substitute there. Q minus w plus q by g into g by ten is equal to. Instead of acceleration, I need to substitute g by ten. Into w by 2z. So here g g gets cancelled. Here also g g gets cancelled. So simplifying it further, q minus simplifying it further minus w by 10 minus q by 10 is equal to W by ten into two, so W by twenty. Take Q common here, one minus one by ten, right? So take W common on that side, one by twenty, and take this W by ten onto right hand side, so then it will become plus, so one by ten, right? So lack of space because of lack of space, I am doing here Q into. One minus one by ten is nothing but nine by ten is equal to W into one by twenty plus one by ten. So multiply numerator and denominator with two here. So then, so it is two by twenty, right? So two by twenty plus one by twenty, which is nothing but three by twenty. From that, I can find the value for Q. Q is equal to W into three by twenty into Ten by nine. So this ten uh, two times. This three three times. So Q is equal to W by six. So the additional weight value we have to find that. So which is nothing but W by six. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, click on like button and don't forget to subscribe.